It was a highly charged atmosphere at a protest against rising electricity bills today. Dozens of protesters rallied against Hydro One's price hike. They're saying on many occasions it's forced them to choose between feeding their families or paying their hydro bills. Camille Karamali was at the demonstration. Camille, tell us more about their concerns. Well, Omar, each protester had their own story about how rising hydro bills have forced them to make some major sacrifices in their day-to-day -day living. Many of them even ended up bringing their own hydro bills to the protest. Plenty of signs, speakers, and signatures. Dozens of people signed their name on a petition outside Ontario Energy Minister Bob Shirelli's office, where protesters were voicing their opposition against spiking hydro rates. We need to stick up for all of you. Jeanette Kosnaski says she's seen her monthly electricity bill shoot up in recent years. Now she's left with some tough decisions. I want my kids to be able to have sports to go to, and, and I'll be able to afford that for them and have things that they want that, and I want to be able to pay for that for them and I can't. And she's not alone. Hydro One customers in rural parts of eastern Ontario are fed up with the soaring prices. We pay over $700 last month and if it's going off my pension check will go just to pay hydro. <laughs> People also brought their hydro bills along with them to swap stories. When your bill doubles to like a mortgage amount, it's purely insane. Protesters are fighting for a reduction in delivery charges. They also want regulatory charges and the HST removed and better management of smart meters to make sure they don't get overcharged. How did we know that they're being they're being reading properly? How do we know that they're uh, transmitting properly? We don't know that. Nobody verifies that. The group also says it was shocked to learn this week that 60% of Hydro One will be sold. Critics have warned the move will drive up electricity prices. I'd like them to stop privatization altogether, put a stop to that, kick it in the butt right now, get it out the door. Now we contacted Energy Minister Bob Shirelli's office. We haven't received a response yet. Meanwhile, today's protest is setting the stage for a larger province-wide protest that is scheduled for Queen's Park in May. Omar. Thanks for that, Camille. We'll be sure to keep an eye on that. You're welcome.